Hi and welcome to my review of Giants Bobblehead. Today we'll be taking a look at some of the pictures that have been given away over the last couple of years by the San Francisco Giants. Uh, we'll start off historically with Russ Ortiz. Russ Ortiz was one of the first uh, bobbleheads that were made uh, specifically for a pitcher. As you'll note that a lot of first generation bobbleheads of uh, Willie McCovey, Willie Mays, Barry Bonds, Orlando Spader were all basically batters and the way to pose batters is to have them stand over a bat. Pitchers um, they didn't really know what to do with the first generation bobblehead like Russ Ortiz here. The best they could do is to have him stand there uh, staring at the mound with his, um, with his glove on, with a ball in his hand. Uh, that's the best they could do with the first generation uh, for depicting pitchers. They really didn't have the technology to do much more than that. If nothing else, they really didn't know how to uh, put their feet and have them swing and not fall over. Uh, these are bobbleheads are inherently fragile, so they didn't take a lot of risk with that. And you can tell um, the way they used to do it, at least for Russ Ortiz, uh, very stoically just standing there with his glove out. So back uh, in 2004, um, they made Russ, uh, what's his name here, Jason Smith. Uh, Jason Smith, my all-time favorite Giants, he currently plays with that other team in the South. Uh, Jason Smith was acquired by the Giants uh, July 31st, 2001, and a great trade for us with Pittsburgh, terrible trade for Pittsburgh Pirates, but great for us. Uh, basically kicked butt for the next couple of years. He um, took the team to the World Series, won a heck of a lot of games. Jason Smith depicted with uh, his cream color number 29 jersey on there, throwing a 100 mile an hour fastball. Uh, great man, great giant, great player, great all-star. Uh, and, uh, you know, even though he plays for that other team we can't mention, uh, I'll just say that once a giant, always a giant. And I will uh, welcome him if he ever comes back at, uh, you know, one of these reunion games, especially for World Series. Um, and next in line, I think 2006, they gave away a Barry Zito bobblehead. Barry Zito's like great wind up. I think Barry Zito might be the, one of the first bobbleheads that are created by the Giants where. Uh, both feet aren't on the ground. You'll notice how small Barry Zito's feet are depicted very accurately, very, uh, what do you call it, proportional, anatomically. Um, it's not big and bulky like Russ Ortiz's bobblehead is. And you'll note that uh, his feet are, you know, very much in a pitcher's pose, very uh, artistic. It'll give him a lot more freedom. The only thing I don't really like about Barry Zito's bobblehead is the fact that it doesn't really look like Bo Barry Zito. His, his eyes are about right, but his face is all wrong. Uh, I don't know if it's because they mass produced these and d just pop someone else's face on there. But uh, compared to uh, Jason Smith over there, Barry Zito doesn't look like Barry Zito. And I, I expect a little bit more for a bobblehead. Uh, back in just last year, 2008, they created one for Matt Kane. Matt Kane won the other day. Tremendous pitcher. Uh, came up, I think he was only 21. Um, had that great game in Chicago. Another great game with the A's when he first came up. Uh, unfortunately, the Giants never score a whole lot of runs for him, although this year he's already won more games in, <laughs> in a very short amount of time. He actually has a winning record this year, which is pretty amazing. Uh, you'll, you'll note that... Uh, if you're staring right into uh, Matt Kane's eyes, he really just just kind of look menacing like a pitcher. Although, uh, if you look closely, it kind of looks like Garth Brooks as well. In any case, uh, this is Matt Kane. He's got number 18 on his back. He's got the great wind up and swing. The way they do these now, the way they create the pitching um, bobbleheads, is the there's a screw that's in the feet is mounted into the base. They didn't really do that before. It was probably probably one of the first. Um, innovations that they have. Um, there's also another one made by for Mar Juan Marichal, which I have in a separate collection. Juan Marichal's feet are attached to the base with a magnet. Uh, Jason Smith, uh, one of the first attempts, um, his feet are not in a pin. They're actually glued down there, I think, with some hot glue gun, and they just mounted them in uh, permanently, uh, which is, I think, not as artistically interesting. Um, this is the most recent addition to my collection. This is Tim Linscombe, uh, if you can tell, Lin Tim Linscombe, Paul Bobblehead is probably one of the most sought after currently. Uh, it's He's got the long mullet, he's got number 55, he's got that crazy wind up where he's loading everything on that back leg before he does that long leg kick. Um, Tim Linscombe, 2008 Cy Young Award winner, his bobblehead actually has the 2008 um, Cy Young Award right on there, on his base there. And Tim Linscombe, a uh, great pitcher came up. I went to his very first game. He was throwing 101 miles on his first couple pitches. 
against the Phillies. Um, didn't get the win, but he was amazing, and he's been lights out ever since. Um, so those are the Giants pitchers bobbleheads. If you're looking for add pictures to your bobblehead collection, you'll probably find them on eBay. I, I think most of these are somewhere around anywhere from 35 to 50 bucks. Linscom, uh recently, I think I've seen him go as high as $100, um, only because, well, he's Linscom. He's currently the face of the franchise. Uh, he's so popular, his name is the franchise. So, in any case, this is my review of the Giants um, pitching bobbleheads. Uh, I'll try to find my Juan Marichal and complete the uh, the review here. In any case, thanks for watching my little film here. Go Giants! Bye!